Hello, welcome back to my channel. In my video today, I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the Ultimate Mini Mystery Pack Hanukkah Collection. So the reason why you would want to buy the big one instead of just getting a lot of the, the smaller mystery packs is they're supposed to be in some of the big packs. I don't know if it's in all of them, um, but supposedly there's a, a menorah that is only found in the big pack. So that's actually not why I bought this big pack. Uh, it was a nice little perk, but um, when I looked at the two big sets, um, or the two collections, the Christmas collection and the Hanukkah collection, I already had a lot of the Christmas stuff. Uh, there's a lot of repeats from past sets. And the Hanukkah collection, they are, they are actually repeats of other sets, but they have been, the color changes. So there's a lot more blues and golds, you know, for the colors. Um, that we typically associate with Hanukkah. Um, I will preface this that I am not Jewish, and so if I misspeak anything, please um, correct me. Um, I do not um, celebrate Hanukkah, but I have dolls that do, and um, I have dolls that celebrate lots of different holidays that I don't do. But again, this is a chance for me to learn and to grow, and it's one of the reasons I absolutely love American Girl. So, um, without further ado, uh, let's get this open. So, first of all, I do have this bright light on. Um, let me see if I can turn it off real quick. Uh, do, do, do. There we go. Um, so, that this is with just natural daylight. It is a really, like, kind of holographic packaging, which I think is really great. It's got the menorah on the front. Um, there is the big, of course, warning label of, like, just be careful... The back is not holographic, so I'm going to put my light back on here. Um, and it has this beautiful to and from. I think that's a great if you're going to give this to a gift. Um, do be aware, it does say here, open packages cannot be returned or exchanged. Um, and I notice that it's one of the, the big things about mystery packs is, yeah, you get what you get and that's it. So um, I bought this set not because I wanted the special menorah which is not a guaranteed I, I don't think well I guess we'll find out if I don't get it <laughs> um but my thing for this was I, I really like I really wanted a lot of these um objects and so I um wanted to make sure that I had um you know, a good chance of getting a lot of them. Oh, that one's really heavy. Like this one's like super light and this one's like super heavy. They're really different. Um, the other reason I, this is kind of a selfish reason, but I wanted to see what the codes were on the back. Cause I, there are a couple of these I actually do want duplicates of. And so, um, I'm hoping that I can identify a lot of these. And, um, then next time I go to the American girl store, I can, um, pick out the ones I actually want. Um, and have those ready to go. So I'm going to try to um, keep things with their package just so I can remember their codes. Um, so before I open these, uh, if you are familiar with the set, there's a lot of different Hanukkah themed items you can get. Uh, the one that I want the most there is a frying pan skillet thing. It's plastic, I know. It comes with a spatula. I have tons of the spatulas and frying pans from other sets. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing from Mary Ellen's, like, camping set. And, like, that they've used in, like, some of the kitchen sets. I already have it. But this one says, it has a cute saying on it. And I really hope I get it. And if I don't, that's okay. But um, I am really looking forward to this. So I think actually I'm going to start with this one because it's so flat. Um, it is so flat. I have no idea. I'm really bad at these. So I, I don't even think it's worth me trying to guess. Um, ah, but yep, yeah, I was wondering. So this is the one that I was, you know, I was okay if I got it, but it wasn't one I was super excited about. To me, this is the one that's least worth it. Um, so this is a um, holiday jewelry, but it just, it's just really basic jewelry. So this is just a beaded bracelet, and this is a little ring, and I'm going to try my best not to lose rings. Um, I only have two or three of them. Uh, actually, I think this is my third ring ever. Um, it is really cute. Um, I don't, I mean, besides the colors, I don't think there's anything here that makes it distinctly uh, Jewish, per se. Uh, I mean, but even then, blue is not necessarily a, just a Hanukkah color. 
Um, but it will go really well with the Hanukkah ce celebration outfit that American Girl currently has. Um, so yeah, that's this one. Uh, so, but this is the, the mini pack so I can have a, a better look at it. Um, oh yeah, yeah, that's the saying. I love you a lot. <laughs> I think that's great. Um, so yeah, this is the, um, Yeah, these are all the different options. So I have uh, this one. This was the one I was least excited about, but it's, you know, it's okay. I still love doll jewelry. Um, okay, next pack. So, uh, let's see. Um, do I even want to... I think this is the rugula. I th rugulash? Rugulash? Is that how you say it? Um, ah, I was right. Yep. So there's a plate. So this is actually one of the sets I really, I actually want two or more of them, actually. I want two or more of them. Um, I have some, is it rugula? Rugula? I don't actually know. It's on my to-do list to try to make it. Um, but this is, uh, so this is a plate they've used in other sets, but it's, they've never used this color before. And I was what I really want. And I also love doll food. Um, so this is a set I would love to have a duplicate of. Um, so I won't be sad if I do get a duplicate. Um, this one, I think is the two dreidels. I think it's the two dreidels. Uh, let me see. I, I don't, I keep jumping between, so I try not to use my scissors on these, but that seems to be what I'm doing. Ah, dreidels. Yep. Okay. So there are two of them. One is pink and one is blue. I don't know if the colors mean anything, like why they had one pink and one blue, but it's kind of interesting. Again, this is one I actually wasn't that excited about. Um, again, I don't think this particular set is worth the $8 for the mini pack, um, but they're cute. And they are wood. They're not plastic. So that to me is the one, th are they wood? They're not. Huh. I don't know. I feel like if that's plastic, that's a really interesting type of plastic they don't normally use. Um, it could be like the molded plastic like they use for like their food items and less like less like the plastic they use for plates. It's definitely more along like the molded plastic. So it's probably a molded plastic. I'd be very surprised if it was actually wood, but I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure about that. Okay. Um, so next one. Oh, this one's, this one's really heavy. Uh, let me think. Um, I think this is the Hala. Um, so Hala is an enriched dough. Ah, yes. Um, I have a couple of these already from various sets, but you can never have too much doll food. I wanted at least one of these just to have an extra doll food set. Um, so I'm really happy about this. Um, it's an enriched dough and then there's, they're usually braided. Um, they're really good. Um, I've made it a couple of times. Uh, this is a Let's see. And this is just, it honestly is a butter knife. And that is one thing they keep doing with like bread or bre it's a cheese knife, I think. Cheese or butter. And it is metal, um, which is nice. But I just from personal experience, this will not cut bread. Like, I don't know why they keep pairing these two items together because that's, that's just not realistic. But I'm happy I have this set. Okay. Let's see. Next one. Oh, I didn't even guess. Hold on. Um, I think this is the donut and the menorah plate. Yes, awesome. Okay, so this is another set I wanted. I, I think I would like two of these, um, just so that, you know, if I have two dolls that have a party, maybe see, um, uh, Lindsay and Rebecca decide to have a, a, a party with each other. Um, so this is a jelly-filled donut, um, and a Hanukkah plate. So this would be a really good, a good one to have a double of, I think. Um, also doll food. Yay. Okay. Um, this one's pretty flat as well. Um, I don't know what this one is. Um, I want to guess it's the coins, but I, I am not sure. Oh, 
hey, look at that. I thought I was really bad at this, but apparently I am not too bad. So this is, um, is it, oh, what's it called? It's Gel, Gel, Gel. Um, they're coins traditional for the Hanukkah celebration. Um, and so there's a little package here. It's just, this is a really nice blue packet. Um, with a little drawstring that does actually work and it's embroidered a g with a star and then you get one two three four five six identical coins one side has the menorah one side has the star of david um you know this was one of those it wasn't high up on my list i'm like i'm glad i have it um i think they've done better sets before with this kind of thing um or i feel like it'd be i don't know i just this one wasn't my favorite um, it's definitely very traditional, but not my favorite. So I'm hoping that um, I don't have a repeat of this one. I just want one. So I've got my one. I'm happy. Um, okay, 50-50 shot. I think if I have a menorah, I think that's the menorah. So let me see. This one, I'm hoping it's the cup. I think it feels like the cup. Because that's a set I was really looking forward to as well. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait, that's not what? <laughs> uh, American girl. Um, that's not what's supposed to be in with the cup set. What? <laughs> Darn it. Um. Okay. Okay. So this plate is supposed to be a plain blue plate, which is what I wanted. I wanted like the cup and saucer set. Um, but this. Is that <laughs> well? At least I got my two hol my two Hanukkah plates. Um, that's American Girl. That's funny. Um, that's funny. That's really funny. <laughs> um, so yes, I sort of got this, but actually I got half of that and half of that. So that's that's too funny. Um, again, I love they've used they've done these cups before. Um, but they've never done it in this color, so I, I like to add that color to my collection. I was kind of hoping for the plain blue plate because I'd get to have more use for it. Um, but no, that's not happening today, I guess. All right, last but not least, uh, this is really heavy. And based on what it feels like, I'm pretty sure it's the menorah, which I said, you know, I wasn't sure they definitely came in these packs, but it looks like they do. Um, looks like this is specifically this pack um i mean like i knew it came ex exclusively in this pack but i didn't know if it was guaranteed to have one and I, I still don't know if we're really sure if that's guaranteed i haven't honestly looked at other people's unboxings and videos to see if they always get it but i have a feeling if it's available only in this pack and this pack is 62 dollars, then they're going to to try to make sure that you get one of these um so this is a this is metal this is nice this is really heavy um, and then you've got the, the candles and I think, um, oops, let's see. So there's only one blue candle. So that's actually probably the one that goes in the middle. And then you could have sort of a rainbow effect. Let me put these down. Um, there is a little difference between top and bottom, I think, but there's no, nothing that indicates like this is the wick side or anything like that. Um, and they are plastic. Uh, so I think, you know, I think because of the good quality of the menorah, the candles suffered in quality, but I think that's a small price to pay with such a good quality menorah. You know, we actually getting, um, a metal menorah some detailings. Um, I don't know. I, I think that's, I think that might be a good trade-off. Um, see the candles aren't exactly perfect and same height and all of that, but for $8, I think that's, um, still, you know, well, of course you can't buy this just for $8. You have to buy the big pack, but, um, I do think that's a pretty good value for this process. So let's see, overall, I ended up with eight unique ones, which I'm really happy for a big mystery pack like this. Um, I did not get my spatula and skillet that says, uh, I love you a lot, gay. Um, but that's okay. Um, so my hope is that I have enough information that I can find this one and uh, potato pancakes and applesauce when I go to the store. Um, I'm almost out of time, so thank you for watching. I hope this was informative, and I'll see you next time.